What's going on everybody? It's Melo DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to give you my fave five picks for tonight's eight game main slate. Sorry it's a late video. It's got off of work, but let's get into it. Please smash the like button. Please subscribe for daily content. And if you don't mind, press that bell icon to get notified for any new videos. All right. Had a great night last night. Only person that hurt me was Kelly Olenek. <sighs> but anyways, let's jump right back into it, y'all. This, this is what DFS is about. Just having fun, but at the same time, can collect that bag. All right. Going with number one spot at point guard. Everyone, you know what? I'm going to go make this a bonus play. I'm going to put in Kemba Walker because he's the ult- I mean, he's in a great position against Miami. All right. He's averaging 50.15 fantasy points in the past five games. He's averaging 41.5 Fancy points in the past two games at home versus Miami. He's averaging 54 fancy points in the past two games at Miami. All right, Miami allows an average 1.47 fancy points per minute versus point guards and allowing an average 48.2 fancy points to point guards. So he's definitely in a great position, only 8,300. Definitely a steal. He should get around 45 to 50 again. Honestly, with this, with this game. Uh, it should be a fast-paced game, but nonetheless, he's in a great spot. Now, going down to number two spot, I'm going to plug in the guard I'm actually looking. He's a great pivot if you could plug him in. If you don't have room for Kemba, which you should be playing Kemba, I have another guy that's in a great position tonight. Mike Conley versus Washington in a great spot tonight. He's averaging 44.5 fantasy points in the past two games versus Washington at home. Washington allows an average 54.6 fantasy points to point guard, average around 9.3 assists a game. They allow an average 1.17 fantasy points per minute. More uses if uh, Marcus Hall is out, but nonetheless, still in a great position tonight. So definitely want to check out Mike Conley. Now going to my number three spot, shooting guard. Going to be plugging in Kent Bazemore. You know, he is balling, y'all. He's in a great spot. So he's averaging 43 fantasy points in the past three games in the past two years at Cleveland. He loves playing at Cleveland. So, hey, we're going to spark him up. All right. Let's see. Sorry about that. He only has he's only 5,700, which is a steal in the value in that price range. You're looking about 25. But this guy could definitely go off about 40 fantasy points tonight. All right, Cleveland allows an average 46.39 fantasy points to shooting guards. They allow an average 7.08 rebounds a game and allow 5.35 assists a game. Baysmore is in a great spot, so definitely want to plug him in knowing his history at Cleveland. All right, if you want access to my plays and my player pool, definitely click the link in my description for the draft dashboard fantasy tools one-stop shop it saves research time y'all you get access to the last three fantasy points a game the last three games in minutes and also last three games in usage all right you have access to the offense and defense matchups with a per player you have access to either DraftKings or FanDuel so it's definitely a one-stop shop. Limited time right now for 30 days for a dollar. Once you sign up, you have access to your sleepers, your studs. And once you click the watch players list, you have access to Melo's DFS picks. Just press that button. You have access to all my picks, y'all. And you can plug them in into the lineup optimizer to generate quality lineups, y'all. So definitely check it, take a look. All right. Now going back to my, no- my next pick. Going out small forward. Tobias Harris in a great position. He's averaging 34.4 minutes a game. Also, going against OKC, they allow an average 50.96 fantasy points versus a small four position. They allow an average nine rebounds a game. All right, he's averaging 36 fantasy points at OKC in the past two games last year. He even had a 40, he had a 49 fantasy point game at home against them on the 19th of this month. So definitely he's in a great position. Only 7,800 on DraftKings. He should definitely get over 35. He's more, he's getting the usage. He's more like another DeAndre Jordan for the Clippers, y'all. So he's getting that time and he's putting in the work. All right. Now going to my power forward. 
Power forward, I'm looking at Lance, Larry Nance Jr. in a great spot. Knowing that, knowing that uh, Love is out for a whole month, he should definitely be getting to work. He's doing damage with the time he has, y'all. In the past two games, he had 28 minutes for 32 phase points. And the last game, he had 23 minutes for 39 fantasy points with 12 rebounds. This guy is balling with that much juices. He definitely should be able to put in work with more time. He's at a great rate at 6,200. He'll definitely give you about 35, hopefully 40, but nonetheless in a great position against ATL. One of the worst defense against the power forward position. They allow average 53.56 fantasy points against the power forward position. They average allowing 14.64 rebounds a game. This guy has a great ceiling tonight. Definitely want to plug him in your plays. Now going for my number six spot. So I gave you a bonus play. So definitely want to check out in the center position. I am looking into Willie Carlos Stein in a sorry about that. In an amazing position tonight. All right. Going against uh, going against Orlando, he's averaging 46 fantasy points in the past two games. With an average 33.5 minutes in the past two games, averaging 12 rebounds in those two games. Now, he, last year he had a 49 fantasy point game at Orlando for 33 minutes with nine rebounds. So knowing that's that at Orlando, he still gives good numbers. He could definitely hit this value only at 6,300 tonight. And that's a great spot for him. He should definitely put in work. I know it's a back-to-back -back game, but nonetheless, he should be able to do damage. Um, oh, no. I mean, he got to deal with Vol uh, check, but nonetheless, he should be able to still put in work for the squad. And that's my six plays. You know, we got five with the bonus pick. You got to plug in Kemba, so I'm not going to fade him. And that still gives you 4050 4, for the remainder two spots, y'all. So definitely, if you like my plays, give me a thumbs up. Any questions or concerns with your lineup, feel free to comment below. Love y'all. Y'all collect that bag tonight. It's Metal DFS, and I'm signing out.